Well, you guys, if you're looking for a gaming router, then the best gaming router on the market right now is the Netgear XR500 Nethawk Pro. This is probably one of the best gaming routers you can buy for the money. So the hardware side of it has been created by Netgear and NetDormer has come in and created the software side, which is uh, both of them together have probably made one of the best uh, gaming routers out there on the market at this sort of price point. Now, not only does it uh, perform really well, it absolutely looks awesome uh, with that sort of racing car uh, feature look on the front of it. So when you look at the front of it, it looks like some sort of modern day Lamborghini. So let's take a look at what we've got here on the side of the box. We've got some information here. It comes with a powerful dual core 1.7 gigahertz processor and also has five gigabit uh, ethernet ports on there as well with two uh, USB 3.0 ports, which is great to attach any sort of network storage that you want to get access to. You've got 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz on there as well. So it's a pretty decent bit of kit for the money. Inside the box, you're gonna get four detachable antennas, ethernet cable, quick start guide, and a power adapter, and the XR500 Nighthawk Pro gaming router. The dimensions are 321.9 times 243.7 times 55.0 millimeters. The weight of it is 801 grams, does come with a warranty, and again, it has that operating system by NetDormer, which allows you to uh, customize your dashboard so you can customize the look of it on the front so you can see exactly what is going on on your network. Also, you can see here, you can prioritize your gaming traffic. So whatever devices you've got plugged on the network, whether it be iPods, uh, MacBook Pros, iPhones, uh, Xboxes, Playstations, or desktop computers, laptops, tablets, all that sort of stuff, you can prioritize how much uh, bandwidth you want to give to those uh, devices at any one time. You can guarantee uh, your location connection and eliminate lag, which will improve the performance when you're playing games because you're only connecting to servers in your location with that geo um, sort of profiling that you're setting up there. You've also got the monitor internet usage and live game uh, pings here so you can monitor all what's going on on your network so if you need to give yourself a little bit more uh, bandwidth you can do and this is what you're going to get inside the box you're basically going to get your two power adapters one for the uh, europe or across the pond and you're going to get a free pin plug here for the uk and this is the one we're going to be using obviously pretty decent length of cable on there now you're also going to get a cd inside here and you're also gonna get your quick start guide and some other information inside this little uh, pamphlet here. You also are gonna get yourself a yellow ethernet cable, which is gonna go from your router uh, to your old router, which is gonna now be turned into a modem. You're also gonna get four antennas, which will go two on the back and two on the sides. And they're all numbered and they will all be keyed up in the right ports when you screw them in. So let's take a look at the back here. We've also got the LED lights here. You can turn those on or off if you don't like them. You've got a reset button and you've got a little cover here which you pull off for the two antennas that go at the back of the router. There's also two at the back side of the router as well, which I'll show you in a second. So you've got your five uh, gigabit ethernet ports here. Uh, the yellow one's gonna go for your internet to your old router, which is gonna be your modem. You're also gonna have your DC input and you've got your power button to turn the router on or off. Now you just need to screw these in. I'll add the other antennas in a second. On this side here, you've got two USB 3.0 ports, which you can attach any sort of external storage, which will be attachable on the network. You've got uh, your antenna port on this side here and there's one on the other side as well the front of it looks absolutely awesome and this all lights up as well but you can turn the leds off if you don't want them on and down this side you've got some good ventilation and you've also got that antenna on there you've got your wps uh, button on the front of the panel as well and you've got some anti-slip rubber feet now also what i'm going to be putting in is this switch here this poe switch um, on the bottom, I'll put this into some sort of cabinet at some point. So if you want to see that sort of video, let me know in the comments section below. But I'm basically going to be using this for my POE cameras and also some other bits and pieces as well. It just gives you a bit more um, 
be a few more ports uh, to use there and it gives you plenty of information here I'll leave the information in the video description for you if you're interested it does come with a couple of brackets this is nine inches so if you're going to get a say a 19 inch cabinet you will need to use these brackets here so it fits into a 19 inch cabinet but if you're going to put it into a 10 inch cabinet you probably won't need these brackets and it should just slot straight in uh, to the racking system on there what you see here is what you get with the kit you get the uh, poe switch and you also get the brackets and the screws and the user manual and the power cord here it's made of metal as you can see and also uh, it's a pretty decent bit of kit actually you've got yourself your power port on the back and you've got plenty of ports on the front here some uh, will do your poe for cameras you're going to just put in your mvr box on the bottom one there on the router will go to the top port there on the right hand side and you've got uh, plenty of uh, scope there for upgradability and plugging in all your devices all on the left hand side there you'll see plenty of led lights which will be flashing it will make a little bit of noise there is a fan inside here and it will kick up a bit when you power it on um, but it shouldn't bother you too much if you've got this in some sort of racking system or in some sort of cabinet you won't really hear it and that's what I plan to do uh, with this sort of setup and it's all nicely laid out I do like the quality of this it looks pretty good and I can't wait to get it all set up now on the back here you can see uh, you've got that power port and you've got some ventilation on the sides here and again there is a big powerful fan in there to keep it cool obviously when you start plugging in devices it's going to put a lot of load on there so they need to keep the uh, device cool and there is your power port on the back there and there's some sort of earthing screw on the back so this is basically how it's going to be looking just for this tutorial i need to tidy this all up i'm just sort of setting it all up now so the modem uh, which is my original router which is on the left hand side is now in modem mode and also the uh, netgear router is on top of the switch and basically i've got some plugs in there but i will be tidying this all up so don't worry and uh, hopefully we'll get this all sorted out in up and coming videos because i've got a few more bits that i want to attach uh, to this now as you can see here we do have a bunch of lights on the front and you can turn these off if you wish there's also a couple of buttons on top of the router as well which is your wps and also your wi-fi on and off button which i forgot to mention earlier on but as you can see here on the poe switch here we've got it all wired in right so basically uh, you can see here we've got our two switches on top this is great to have your wi-fi which means if you want to turn the wi-fi off you can do and also you do have that quick wps switch there so i've gone to uh, router login.net and i've logged into my router and i'm going to start to set it up so basically we just have to go through the motions here start to detect any sort of internet connectivity and it will go through saying internet detected here if it doesn't then you've obviously got problems and you've not set it up right and uh, you just have to go through the motions here so it's going to check for the internet speed here and uh, mine wasn't quite set up right yet but we're just going to accept that and go next as we go next we can go to the next page here you can set up your admin account settings this will be your password and your admin name and everything else that you want to set up so I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen so you don't see it. There we go. It's now starting to get our Wi-Fi ready and it gives you your Wi-Fi password. Um, I'm going to change all that information so don't worry about that. But you have got a default one on there if you wish to use it temporarily. Um, but no one would know what that is because it will be different on every single device that gets shipped out by Netgear. So I'm just going to let that go through and there we go. That's all set up now. So we've got our um, Wi-Fi all set up now also what is done is it's detected that there is firmware to be updated so I'm just going to quickly let the firmware update on this router and it's always important to get the latest and greatest firmware and software updates because that way you're going to get the best possible experience now I just need to register this um, Netgear router so I'm just going to put in all my information here and that's now done and I can log in to our uh, Duma OS uh, dashboard which is on our Netgear router so as you can see here you've got these little pinpoints here you can put ever, whatever you like on here you can customize it to look exactly how you want it so if you want to remove something you can do and you can add something else in that is more useful or interesting to you so basically you can see here we've got 
out a geo filter map this is something that you can set up for games which means when you're playing games online it will only connect to uh, certain areas that you set it to so depending on how far afield you want to set this up uh, will determine on the little slider there you can also move the little pinpoint around to the country you're in depending where you are in the world so i'm in the uk so i'm going to put it over on the uk and now you can use the little slider to slide up and down to determine the sort of distance that you want to allow connections to and once that's done you can set profiles up as well so i'm just going to put this here now sometimes um these geo filters don't work for certain games but i'm going to set this up here and that means i'm only allowing this very small connection to my area this is going to give me better connectivity to servers in my local area rather than further afield so you can see here you can choose uh, whatever game you want here you've got PUBG, you've got all your usual counter strike fortnite all the usual games here set this up and i'm going to click uh, got it here and once you do that you should see it listed up here and you can set profiles up as well now if you want to delete these you just click on the delete and it will remove it from your router settings pretty straightforward and easy to do now if you need that on your front menu uh, system you can do by just adding it to your front menu very easy to do now we're going to be looking at the uh, bandwidth allocation and download which is our quality of service and quality of service means each device will uh, be uh, given its own amount of bandwidth which you give it so depending on what you want so if you play games you can put in your computer and add in that as, as your main default one so basically uh, this will give you the preference over all the other devices you've got plenty of little help bubbles here that you can click on those little question marks are on every little area here which is nicely thought out by Netgear and uh, uh, Duma which is basically very easy to understand what it does so if you're not too sure you can just click on those little uh, question marks and it will give you all the information you need so you can see here I can set bandwidth for this uh, computer which is the computer which I'll be playing games on so if I want to give this full 100% uh, I can do and uh, if you want to drop it down a bit you can do and you can go for the download speed and the upload speed and all that sort of good stuff and you can add this in for little other devices like smaller devices that might not need as much bandwidth like uh, phones and stuff or tv boxes and all your other network devices now you can see here i don't have much on my network at the moment because i'm just setting it up but basically if you want to add something to your network it will suddenly populate on our network map as you can see here i've just added my phone and automatically it gets listed onto my network map the more you add on here the more uh, complex it will look and basically you can sec section out whatever you want on here with your quality of service so you can give your phone certain amounts of bandwidth and take away certain amounts of bandwidth from some stuff that don't need it and give it preference to your gaming machine which will give you better uh, ping and also better uh, connection because obviously the geo um, filtering that you've set up and all that sort of good stuff also you've got a vpn set up on here as well you've got a bunch of other stuff on here so i'm not going to go through all of it but i'm just going to go through some of this stuff if you want to see a more in-depth video on this router where you're setting it up and tweaking it uh, with uh, for gaming and stuff like that let me know in the comments section below and i'll do those videos for you okay so i plan on doing more networking videos and more stuff like this for you guys uh, in other videos now this is system information, gives you information about your CPU usage, RAM, uh, flash usage, system info, network status and all that sort of good stuff. There is plenty of stuff to dive into in this router. There is loads of information here which you can tweak and set up. You've got your startup wizard, your uh, WAN setup, your LAN setup, your WPS wizard, wireless setup, uh, guest networks for your guest people that are coming around. You can give them a guest account. You've got router mode. You've got device name you've got loads of stuff here monitoring and all that sort of good stuff inside here which you can set up uh, for your uh, needs so here i'm just going to click on a few of these little bits here so you can see them and uh, we've also got media server here so you can plug in your usb uh, drive inside here and it will automatically be detected on your network and you should be able to access it across your network which is nice you can see usb settings We've also got a ready share also a bunch of other stuff on here as well like block sites email schedule uh, monitoring up there as well 
As you can see, it's pretty much uh, packed with features, traffic meter, uh, you've got statistics there, you've got logs, you've got connection status, the list goes on and on. It's packed with useful stuff which you can use on your network when you've got a load of devices which most homes nowadays have a bunch of devices connected to their network. It allows you to um, section out certain amounts of bandwidth for each of those devices which makes your network a lot more stable when you're playing games you won't get interrupted you won't get no lag or any of that sort of stuff because the way you set it up is going to be beneficial to you because you're going to get preference over everything else on that network if you set it up correctly so anyway as you can see here we've also got a guest wireless status wireless status and also internet status here you can change this up as much as you like anyway my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I'll leave all the information in the video description below if you're interested. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.